Hello, baritone players. Um, we are going to be working in Midnight Sky. We're going to be looking at the chorale sections. I don't have a baritone, so I'm going to be working with my trumpet, but it is all the same fingerings, all the same valves as on your baritone, so you still can practice along with this. All right, so we got um, looking at chorale number one. We're going to start with that one, and we start on our B flat, which is no valves pushed down. We have quite a few of those B flats in a row. And then we will go to C in measure three, D, and then E flat in measure four. Okay, so let's see if we can get that. Our B flat sounds like this. Okay, so let's play measure one, two, three, four. One, two, ready, and. So the key for that one is to be to continue our air and use our tongue to separate the notes. Okay, going on in measure five, we go up to F, G, F, E flat, D, C, jump back up to F, and then down to B flat. So the hardest part about that is measure seven and eight, going from C and going up to F, that jump, and then from C, I'm sorry, F, all the way down to B flat. So I'm gonna try that F to B flat, it's all open. So that wasn't really the clear tone that I wanted, so let's try it again. I'm gonna do it a couple times. All right, so after a couple times, it should feel pretty comfortable. Side note, I think I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but you should have your baritone and your music with you. So if you don't have that, please go get it, rewind the video, start again with your baritone because I want you to play along with this video so we can go over notes and rhythms and things like that. All right, back to measure seven. I'm going from C up to F because that's kind of a jump. Okay, so I practiced that jump a few times and I feel pretty good about it. I'm gonna do the last three notes. C, F, B flat. And after I feel pretty good about it, I can go back and play measure five, six, seven, and eight. Starts on F, open. Ready? Go. Making sure I sustain that last note for four whole beats. All right, if you need to go back and practice anything or review any of the notes that I said, please pause this video, rewind, go back and practice and repeat. And now that you've done that, let's go back to the beginning and play the whole entire chorale number one. One, touch on B flat. One, two, ready, go. really nice and smooth and connected there is only one breath mark in this song and that's after measure four so we want to try to take a good breath at the beginning a good breath after measure four and that should be all the breath that we would need to get all the way through the song okay so again you can pause here and you can go back practice um, all of chorale number one before you go on to the next one let's go on to chorale number two again starts on B flat and we have B flat, C, D, B flat. Now in measure one, you guys are the only ones that this isn't true for. All right, and then, so measure one, do it again. 
B flat, C, D, B flat, and there's a jump up to E flat and back down to B flat. So let's try that. Ready? Go. <laughs> Getting comfortable going from B flat up to E flat is a good thing to stop and practice. Sounds kind of like a um, an ambulance siren. All right, measure three starts out the same way: B flat, C, D, but instead of going back down to B flat, we stay on D. And then in measure four, we do go down to C. And then we jump up to F. So that's a bit of a jump. So here's measure three and four. Ready, go. So we need to practice that jump from C to F. Okay, once I feel really good about that. Going on, measure five is the same as measure one. B flat, C, D, B flat. And I'm gonna again jump up to E flat, but this time I'm gonna go down only one note to D. Measure five and six, ready? Go. Uh -huh. The same exact thing we ended corral number one with, C, F, B flat. And we should already have paused to practice all those big jumps. So should, that should have come, that should come out pretty easy. All right, let's do measure five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> with my tone quality but I did get all my notes and rhythms correct so I might want to go back and adjust kind of play around with just my mouthpiece and get my buzz accurate because it wasn't coming out super clear it's a little fuzzy all right let's do corral number two the whole entire thing got some sunflower seeds in the way one two ready and <laughs> to the end I had to take one more breath so that means my breath in between measure four and five was not big enough so I need to think about that and think okay I have to take a bigger breath between measure four and five to make it all the way through the line all right pause go back rewind repeat um, practice number two get those notes get those fingers you guys have different measures every single time other people don't have that they have a repetitive situation so you guys have a little bit more work to do sorry here is corral number three. This one we are not starting on B flat. We're actually starting up on E flat first valve. And then we're jumping down to B flat. Then we go to C. And we got quite a big jump up to G. So I'm going to practice that C to G jump. Uh pretty confident about that jump so now I'm gonna go back to play measure one two three four if you need to practice that jump a couple more times go ahead and pause all right here's measure one two three and four of corral number three one two ready and we have B flat and seven and eight we have E flat in both those measures. Here's five, six, seven, and eight. Start on F. All right, 
so that jump from F down to B flat. We've done it before in the other corrals, but just in case, that could be a time where you need to go back and practice. Let's do all of corral number three from the beginning. It starts on E flat. One, two, ready. <laughs> good recording if you want to go back you can rewind it you can play through it again but I really want you to take the time with this video to learn your notes and your rhythm so that when we get back together in the band room on Monday we can put all of our parts together and not have to go through each individual section and say okay you guys are playing a B flat you guys are playing a G so be ready to play through all three of those corrals and know your notes if you have a question that's totally okay. Um, you can either ask me in the virtual room or on Monday in person, okay? I will see you later, goodbye.